Thank you. Uh, welcome everybody to another uh, Meet the Expert uh, Be Brown Bag video. Today we're doing a, a kind of different uh, Meet the Expert. We're doing a Meet the Author. And I'm super happy to introduce Mustafa Khalil, who just released an update to his storage book. Mustafa, please introduce yourself. Thank you. Uh, my name is Mustafa Khalil. I'm a senior staff engineer with VMware uh, Engineering. Uh, I've been with VMware for a little over 18 years, and I authored uh, two books and co-authored the third book. Uh, the latest book is uh, Storage Design Implementation in vSphere 6. Yeah, it was just released in uh, July 24th. It covers the whole spectrum of storage, all storage protocols, uh, VMFS, uh, all versions, VMFS 3, VMFS 5, and the history about VMFS 1 and 2, and uh, uh, some details about VMFS 6, because by the time I uh, completed the book, uh, VMFS 6 was just released. Uh, uh, it, the book includes uh, dedicated two chapters for VSAN, uh, chapter 21 and 22. Uh, that provides extensive details about vSAN architecture, how it was designed, how it works under the hood, and a lot of details that would uh, interest the uh, administrator as well as an architect as well. Uh, and chapter 23 is dedicated to first volumes, uh, and also includes uh, NFS, uh, both uh, uh, three, uh, version 3 and version 4.1. Okay. And uh, throughout the book, I provide a lot of design tips. Okay. Where we see a tip bullet, bubble, that was is intended to be a design tip, in addition to uh, some um, uh, notes that are specific, targeted towards the administrators and uh, advanced uh, architects. Cool. And you were mentioning, I, I've obviously got my book signed, uh, you were mentioning to me that there's a lot of there's a, a good explanation of what's under the hood, but there's also some cookbook style things where if you need to do this... Right, there's a lot of procedures with screenshots uh, covering the vSphere web client as well as the, the new vSphere uh, HTML5 client, Very good. as an H5 client. Uh, and it was just announced recently that the uh, web client is going to be deprecated yeah, be and it's not released. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did cover it for completeness, but at that time I knew that uh, that's the direction. Mm -hmm. But the S5 plant at that time wasn't fully fun uh, cover, covers right. all functionality yet. Mm -hmm. Because there are several plugins mm -hmm. that are needed to be ported to yes. run an H5. It's a, it's a big, uh, it's a big uh, engagement to do a book like this, especially because it, everything is always changing. Yes, uh, actually this book took me a little over two years to work on. Uh, I updated the first edition into version 6.x, uh, including all the way up to 6.5 and vSense 6.6. .6. Uh, and uh, I added uh, additional chapters that practically doubled the book size. Wow. And I kept writing and writing and the, the publisher was saying that you need to limit it to a certain size, otherwise it will fit in more volume. So I had to ask them, can you do it in two volumes? They said yes. Then at the last minute, they decided to make it in one volume. That's why it's such a big book. Well, and, and I want to, to show this. We were talking about this. The original book, the version 5 book, was around to, up to here, you said? And so it's a full, yeah, it's yeah. A full uh, It was around itch. 700 pages. It was yeah. 700. This is 1,200 plus the index? Right. It's pretty amazing. Thank so you. tell tell me more about the book writing experience. Do you think that you will continue th doing this for version seven and so far? Because I know it's it's not you're not, that's not your primary job, is it? No, I'm, I'm doing this on my own time. It's not part of my job description, but I like to share what I learned yeah. with the community, uh, starting with the first VMworld World 2004 and uh, going forward from that point on. Anything I learned, I like to pass it on, whether as uh, uh, take notes or uh, KB articles, uh, uh, white papers, and so on. Yes. Uh, I participate in some of the VMware blogs, yes. and also have my own blog at uh, vSphereStorage.com. Okay. Uh, and uh, I... Well, we, we've had you in brown bag. Yes. Uh, and I remember especially one uh, BCDS boot, uh, preps, right? Yes. And you've done also the uh, when the IT Foundation series was released. Yes. I think you were also with, uh, with John Arashi. So we know about your passion for helping out the community. So it's always great to be able to connect with you and see what you're... I mean, this is a big project that you completed. I mu it must have taken you hours and hours. Yes. Uh, when I... When I uh, at VMware, we have uh, milestones for celebrating uh, yes. tenure. Yeah. So uh, they celebrated 
my 16th milestone, that's exactly wow. the victory, on my 17th day here because I was the only one at 16 that wanted to group us where they have enough people to have some event. So, uh, you, were, and you were there before the events happened. <laughs> uh, uh, I was there when the, when the event happened, uh, the 17th uh, uh, year. Um, and at that time, they granted me uh, a 30 day or one month sabbatical. Right. I spent the whole sabbatical working on the book as well. So, every the free time rest. I had, uh, I spent on the book. I set up my own lab uh, environment at home yes. uh, to make sure that I have no dependency on any other resources. Yeah. And uh, any time of day or night, I uh, just hop in my office and start working on it at home. Uh, and just the process of setting up the, uh, the home lab was well, a good hands-on experience for me. And checking everything to make sure that what you're releasing is correct, because I know you're a person that very yes. high quality in everything you do. So <laughs> that must have been such a... Yes, and I was testing some uh, uh, pre-beta code uh, to try to get some content ready by the time the product ships. Uh -huh. This is how this time I was able to ship the book right after Vsan 6 shipped. Yeah. And the previous edition uh, was for version 5, uh, vSphere version 5. And by the time it shipped, with 5.5 it was already shipping. Yes, yes. So I tried to make it as current as possible to have more application to the current versions that yes. the, uh, the administrators and the architects are using. Listen, I, w I was telling you before, I think this is a very cheap book because the amount of effort that you could put into it, plus the size of the book, this is like buying my, my three or four books at the same time. Yeah, I packed about five books. Yeah, it's, it's Based amazing. on the content. If you take the specialty and uh, divide them into separate books per topic, uh, you'll have a book for the basic storage protocols, you have a book for VMFS and file systems, including NFS, you have a, a book for vSAN, a book for virtual volume, and so on. Good. So, instead of me dividing those into separate books, I prefer to combine them all together in one book. It's all storage. Alright, well, I think, I think we can stop. Um, one of the things that I will ask you to do so we close the video is how can people reach you and where can they find the book? Thank you. Uh, you can reach me at VM, uh, Mustafa VMW uh, on Twitter. Of course. Or you can reach me on my blog, which is vSphereStorage.com. And you can leave me a message there. I, can, I usually respond as soon as I get the notification. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.